Okay, so late last night, I uploaded a video in regards to the first descendant and an amazing farm for you guys to earn tons of Kuiper shards, tons of materials, modules, weapons, you name it. On that video, I had a few comments stating that there is a farm better than this on sterile land. So after a bit of digging, a bit of research, I found a farm people are talking about. I'm going to showcase it to you guys today. Now I ain't about comparing. I'm just about bringing you guys the best farms to earn you those juicy materials. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now what I will say is people who have showcased this sterile land farm are showcasing it on that hard mode where you earn triple sometimes quad the amount of shards you would kuiper shards that you would on normal mode i'm here sharing farms for players who ain't playing this game 24 hours a day probably early to mid game players who are still after shards but these videos they're watching it all on hard mode let me tell you guys that's not the way i roll yes i could post these hard mode farms uh, where you show where you see tons and thousands and thousands per minute but in reality for majority of the player base who ain't at that end game yet who ain't completed the game yet and have unlocked hard mode you're looking for these normal mode early to mid game kuiper farms so that's what i'm bringing you today and obviously on screen now you're seeing this is the actual farm i posted yesterday if you're unsure what this is i'll showcase this to you guys in a second but firstly onto the one on sterile land so guys sterile land you want to come to I not can't remember. I, honestly, I can't remember what audio on these now. I think it's Albion, Kingston, then Sterile Land, then Vespers, and then Echo Swamp. So, yep, Sterile Land, you want to come to, guys, and you want to come to this side right here, which is Rockfall, and this is where you want to spawn in at. And this is the mission we want to be running. Now, what I will say is, it's a quick mission to run, I won't lie. I mean, I can clear it out in about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. I mean, it isn't incredible in regards to Kuiper farms on that, well, Kuiper shards on that normal mode, but it is quite quick to farm. Uh, I'll show you my loadout and what I'm using in a second. I mean, I just absolutely obliterate these enemies. Plenty of gold, don't get it twisted, but I mean, gold isn't hard to get in this game. As soon as you get used to where the enemies spawn in as well, guys, it's just like so, so quick. There we go. I'm actually killing them so fast now they ain't spawning on time. So yep, this is basically the farm. Kill all these enemies, then you'll get one big old dude spawning, and you just gotta take him out then. It's as simple as that. That is what we do, so this is the guy, taking him out, done. Okay, so, in total for that, I got 261 Kuiper Shards, and this is on normal mode. From here, you restart, do the mission again. You respawn right here, can do it again i mean i was taking my time there you can do this in under 40 seconds quite easily this is a couple of you two i mean yep you're gonna get done it even faster because you can all just wait on the enemy spawns so yeah and i'm actually just you know what to be honest this weapon just makes life so much easier and it is the first uh look at that oh nice that's what we like to see people that's what we like to see people we like to see those ultimate modules and if, you, if you're over leveled for things like this, it's just utterly ridiculous. But I will say, early to mid game players, I mean, you probably won't be able to run it as fast as this. But you'll still be able to run it quite quick. It's a short, short mission. And right there, guys, again, that top 45 seconds, I got 221. Not bad. Not bad. We'll do it one more time. It's not bad. I mean, I'd say if you're quick enough, like I said, 30 to 40 seconds. 250 at max you're gonna earn i mean it isn't that great in my opinion but again i'll showcase to you guys the one i posted last night which is i mean i'm killing them so fast the, the, the delay and the spawn yeah that one i uh, showcased last night it's just it's just more to do in regards to more enemies to take out there's elites that spawn um, it's equally as easy as this though I'm not going to lie to you but it does take you a little longer to run it probably about a minute minute 20 seconds if you're quick there we go you know, we've got a big guy spawning back in simple as that and again there we go 
119, see what I'm saying? It isn't that great. It isn't get that great. Now, I'll showcase you guys the loot farm one I posted yesterday. So, pull up your map and you want to come to, well, once you get it unlocked, Echo Swamp, this is where you want to be. And then, guys, you want to come to the right hand side and you want to spawn into the abandoned zone. So, spawn there. And that is the mission we're going to be running. It's literally right there. Okay, so once you're landing, guys, just run forward. And the mission is right on your right hand side here. Now, I actually come and did this earlier today. Actually, it wasn't that long ago, probably about an hour ago now. The first time I ran it, guys, I got a transcendent mod from the main elite enemy who ends this mission. Now, I'll showcase to you guys what I'm using in regards to the weapon, which is making this a walk in the park. It's the Thunder Cage. I mean, if you play the game, you can't not, not get this. It's just as simple as that. Great, great weapon, guys. So we start this mission up. I'll showcase to you guys exactly how you run it if you didn't see my video yesterday. Come up here. Take these guys out up top. And remember as well, which is an important tip, um, run over the enemies that you take out. I mean, you don't have to do it on the first run, because once you restart the mission, your loot won't disappear. So if you've got shards that drop on the floor, the copy shards that drop on the floor, they won't vanish if when you restart the mission. So you haven't got a rush to grab them. So obviously you just don't want to leave them there too long, to be honest. But this is basically it. Enemies spawn up top, you take up the enemies up top, and they spawn below, just like so. And then guys will start spawning in here this is where the cave comes into this farm it's a loot cave people they'll come this way take them all out take, take them all out people you know what you gotta do oh them annoying ass enemies that's the most annoying part about this is these enemies here that you have to shoot in the face this can make it go on a little bit longer than you want it to hey it is what it is so at the end of the day guys you're still gonna be earning tons of that loot Tons of that loot. Take them all out. More are gonna spawn. More are gonna spawn. And then, guys, you turn into this cave just like so. Take these guys out. Guys on your right. Use your abilities if you want to. Pop them all off. And there we have it. Simple as that. Hey, got another mod there. Nice. Um. It took me a little longer than normal, but hey, 1 minute 26 seconds, I got 1,134 in regards to those Kuiper Shards people. And then from here, you can restart the mission. Hold X on Xbox, on PlayStation, we hold Square, on PC, I'm not too sure. And I guarantee you, any money now, there is Kuiper still on the floor for me to pick up after that last run. So yeah, when you do end up doing this, and if you do end it and do something else, make sure you cover the whole area in regards to where Kuipers could have dropped because you don't want to be losing out on some can't have too many guys can't have too many wow almost destroyed me then destroyed me then okay so then we'll spawn down here now and I'll provide them add my gun reloaded you know what I mean people so come up here take these guys out got a few is that the gold there or Kuiper shots there not leaving them Nope, not leaving them. And from here, guys, you come down here. And this guy's already took him out for me, which is nice. Makes it easier for me, people. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is normal mode. I'm not doing this in hard mode. If I was doing this in hard mode, it'd be even crazier. It really would. I'm going to come back to it when I unlock hard mode. Just like I said, you're watching so many videos these days on this game. About amazing Kuiper shards, this and the other, but it all run them on hard mode where you're just a brand new player. Um, or you're a new player. You're nowhere near that hard mode yet. You're nowhere near completing the game. I mean, look at that, it was 1 minute 15, I got almost a thousand. Again, plenty of modules. Yeah, you're nowhere near completing the game. So you're nowhere near unlocking the potential to earn as many shards. Uh, Kuiper shows is what you've seen in those videos. So now we're going to go back to the, I call it the tower. Such a destiny scrub. We go back to Albion. And I'm going to showcase you guys where you dismantle your duplicates. Because you will earn a ton of duplicates doing that. You really will. And I've got my fault. Is it Sirion down here? I think it might be. Yes, it is. So here, you come to him, dismantle modules, then you set your uh, duplicates all there, you can see. Select duplicates, I've got 197 duplicates, 
and it cost well i'm gonna get seventy thousand for them them alone so yeah they all add up guys and there it is i mean the story island one's still quite good for early early players but it's nowhere near the echo swamp in regards to returns on those kuiper shards materials weapons whatever you need guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more of the first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one